in addition to the Elon Musk mission, which we just finished, which is the new book. Okay, that's the one that's out right now. And this talks about the companies. The first book I wrote on Elon Musk was the Elon Musk method. And that one's selling extremely well right now. And it's also available on Amazon in all the formats, including audio. The mission as of this morning is still not available in uh, audio, but it should be any minute. So people can probably find it in audio by the time they, they see this video. So, but the Elon Musk method was designed to talk about the skill sets of Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Elon, the, the, the Elon Musk method was more or less, so I've written a bunch of business books. I love to try to help entrepreneurs become better at what they do. Mm -hmm. Sell more and make more money and take more money home to the family. Mm -hmm. This has been a goal of mine for over 40 years of, of writing uh, magazine articles and, and books, uh, doing videos, etc., uh, about small business. So when I wrote the method, that was really the impetus was to reach out to entrepreneurs and say, look, here is the greatest entrepreneur that has ever lived mm -hmm. yeah without question it's not close right what does he do what are his skill sets his capabilities his maybe some innate talents but overall what is it about elon musk mm -hmm. that makes him the greatest entrepreneur ever mm -hmm. okay and i found 16 of those traits mm -hmm. and so those 16 traits are laid out in the book now somebody who is not an entrepreneur but as a wannabe entrepreneur, the book is going to be right for them as well. For mm -hmm. somebody who's a manager and never, my, my one of my sons said, Dad, I'm never going to be an entrepreneur. So now he's a very successful manager in a in, in a large firm. And so, you're, so your talent may not be in entrepreneurial uh, areas, but you are really good at managing. Well, those traits are really good for uh, managers as well. Mm -hmm. So... We go through 16 of these traits. Well, those become the moat. Right. Okay. I mean, if you are, if they, if you asked, if you went out now and did a, did a, a survey, we do a Twitter survey tomorrow. Is mm -hmm. Elon Musk a great communicator? Mm -hmm. And people will be like, Elon, a great communicator? Oh my gosh, no. You know, he has these little three, three word tweets and, you know, he goes online and he goes on these uh, interviews and he kind of has a hard time expressing himself and does a lot of stuttering and things like that. No, he's not a great communicator at all. Oh, no, no. I would put him in the upper half of one, per, no, one tenth of 1% of all communicators. He's a Ronald Reagan level communicator. Yeah. And you're like, well, how can that be with all of these evidences that we can see as, 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 as we're watching him, that he doesn't seem to be that great a communicator. Well, look at the results. Mm -hmm. 110,000 people want to work for him right now. Mm -hmm. My, uh, I, I was taking a class in leadership and I think the, the definition in that class of leadership was people follow you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, the definition of being a great communicator is that people follow you. Right. Okay, you have created a vision. This is so critical. Mm -hmm. If you're an entrepreneur, listen to this. You need a vision. Mm -hmm. The better the vision, the more interesting the vision, the more the, the vision will ap appeal to employees, not just employees, mm -hmm. customers mm -hmm. and suppliers, those three. Yeah. You need to be able to communicate in such a way as you're going to appeal to. You want the, vis the vision that you have, the mission that you're on to be so appealing that people want to work for you, they want to supply you and that they want to buy from you. Those three. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Has Elon accomplished any of those things? Yeah. <laughs> He's at the top. SpaceX and, uh, and Tesla are the number one and number two. Sometimes each year they switch. Number yeah. one and number two for the very best engineers graduating from college. Where do they want to go to work? Right. Those two. Yeah. Number one, number two, year after year after year. So where do people, I would go to work. If Elon called me tomorrow or somebody from Tesla or SpaceX called tomorrow and yeah. said, Randy, we've been, we've been checking your books out, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you get it. And we'd like you to come on down to Hawthorne <laughs> and, 
and uh, get get your uh, your time card, and we'd like to we'd like to use you for a while, man. I would I would be down there. I don't know, Brian, would you? Yeah, totally, <laughs> absolutely. And John says he would too. Yeah. <laughs> Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle, or audiobook now.